broadcasting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. And welcome back, everybody, to another episode here of the Indie Super Show, right here on the Damage 365 Radio Network. This is episode number 13. Coach Kev, joined in studio, as always, by GT. Welcome back. Glad to be back. Got a great show today, all lined up, as the return of a dormant company here in New Jersey, PWS, Pro Wrestling Syndicate. Uh, formerly co-owned by Pat Buck, uh, who is now the owner of Wrestle Pro, and the always controversial Eric Pleska, aka Tap Out. <laughs> now, a couple questions have come up that uh, we would like to, you know, address about this so-called, and I'm going to put air quotes, new owner. Um, what's Eric Pleska's involvement? Is Eric Pleska really the owner and he's just using someone as, um, not, I don't want to say a patsy, but, you know, just making it look like someone else is running the ship, but meanwhile he is. Um, and how does this, you know, what is the background of this so-called new owner? So we're going to, we're going to shed the light about all of this. And we're also going to have a Superstars of Wrestling Live owner, Rob Fury call in around 6.15, so we got to get our butts moving on this. That's right. Um, with his take on it and his opinion on, uh, of course, PWS. We know he's had problems in the past with PWS. Um, we know that he's had problems in the past with uh, the current owner of WrestlePro. But, you know, I don't want to say bygones but be bygones, but live and let live. Everybody's running their companies doing what they do. And uh, now PWS decides to return in an area where multiple companies run and multiple owners and promoters are, uh, I, I'm being told, are very pissed off. Uh, they're being undercut and they're, you know, being not pushed out, but you don't want to water down a certain area because people are not going to go two weekends in a row to the same location for two different shows. It's just not how it works. So... Uh, let's do a birthday shout out. We got eh, a couple of birthdays and, um, let's get that done. And when we come back, we'll shed a little light out on this, uh, new owner again, air quotes of pro wrestling syndicate. So sit back, relax, and we'll be right back. For anybody in the audience who's got a birthday today, happy birthday to you. And if you're not down with that, we've got two words for you. <laughs> We got some birthday shout outs, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday goes out to Damage alum, former outfielder number 38, Kelly Dory McGlynn. Happy birthday and happy Mother's Day to Kelly. Happy Mother's Day and happy birthday goes out to former Damage infielder number four, Mary Jo Morgello. Happy birthday, Mary Jo. Happy birthday goes out to two of our own. Right. Rob Janicki, one of our show hosts here on the Damage 365 Radio Network. And uh, one of our, uh, definitely one of our, little Amy. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday goes out to uh, Amy Hochberg out there in upstate New York. It's going to kill me for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but happy birthday goes out to her. And happy birthday goes out to everybody celebrating their birthday here on or with the Damage 365 Radio Network. And, of course, happy Mother's Day to all you listeners out there. You fine women who uh, mold us young men into what we are today. Happy birthday to you, and happy Mother's Day. Yes, we're going to a 
This is Tito Santana, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Arriba! The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hello, ladies. The Big Balboski here, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. <laughs> Wrestling Superstores, selling wrestling memorabilia from all around the world, including WWE, TNA, Japan, Mexico, and the very best of the independents. They've got action figures, DVDs, autographed memorabilia, t-shirts, and more. Plus, stop in and get tickets for great promotions like UWA Elite, CZW, and many others. Located indoors at the world-famous English Town Flea Market, Green Building Booth Number 35 on 90 Wilson Avenue, Manalapan Township, New Jersey. Open every Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Log on to Facebook.com slash Funkenstein Inc. for more information. This is the War Machine Rhino, the last ever ECW World Heavyweight Champion, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Keep listening, or you'll get gored in half. WarriorsOfWrestling.com. See roster profiles of past and present Warriors of Wrestling stars. Over 50 highlight videos of Warriors of Wrestling events, full-length matches, order tickets to future Warriors of Wrestling events, and an extensive DVD collection featuring past events, compilations, documentaries, and much, much more only at WarriorsOfWrestling.com. This is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius full of glory and renown. You are listening to Damage 365 Radio. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Attention, attention everyone. This is Allie, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. want to thank our sponsors out there. Yep, we still have sponsors, despite what some people tried to do. We like to thank, of course, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore out there in the English Town Flea Market, Blue Building. Boofs 46, 47, and 48 every weekend from 8 to 3. Go check them out. We're going to start doing some um, private signings with, um, partnered up with Funkenstein, and uh, we'll be doing them on Sundays. So. Stay tuned. Take a, a, a look at, of course, our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Damage365 and facebook.com forward slash Funkenstein Wrestling Inc. INC on their page. And uh, you can check out who and how much and what time uh, they will be there. We'll have the likes of uh, Tito Santana, Nikolai Volkov, and even some indie stars as well. Uh, signing autographs, meet and greet with the fans. So we want to get this going. As the weather gets warmer, and I say that with a chuckle, <laughs> as the weather gets warmer, uh, yeah, we would like to warm up the summer with some hot signings at the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore. Also, Esposito's Pizza and Pasta of Matawan and Matasquan, New Jersey. Go to sesamecpizza.com for more information. And of course, Warriors of Wrestling, Women of Warriors, and warriorsofwrestling.com. You want to see some shows? You want to see some indie? Check them out at their website, warriorsofwrestling.com. June 9th, the second show of the Women of Warriors. And of course, June 10th, the big Legends of the Ring weekend show over there in Staten Island. uh, Featuring WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long, Lonnie Poffo, 
and uh, Tony Schiavone, along with the WOW roster. So check it out. Go to warriorsofwrestling.com for more information. Okay, so uh, we got about eh, four minutes before uh, Mr. Mr. Fury calls in, and let's uh, let's get a head start on some things. And um, I will say, I will say this: to, de- dealing with people who've uh, had wrestling businesses in the past who who have uh, failed in the past. It's hard, really, to take anyone serious that tries to start a wrestling company when they had a, a, a history and a past of failed businesses, especially failed wrestling businesses. Now, as many as you know, a post was put up by a gentleman claiming to be the new owner of Pro Wrestling Syndicate. His name is Frank Marcel, a.k.a. Frank Mayor Marcel, a.k.a. Lorenz Dean. That was his wrestling gimmick name. Now, he's in the past tried to start two of his own wrestling companies at different times after leaving Tier 1. Now, he was originally uh, either a partner or a a contributor of some sort with Tier 1 and he he um, Abandoned Tier One to to join House of Glory. Uh, he was doing some some video work and and basically he was trying to shit all over Tier One with his video to to boost the, the other company. And basically, when when HOG got you know they got their use out of him, they they cut ties with him. And uh, then he started he w- decided he was going to start Infinite Wrestling which was his first company that he decided. And uh, you can go to Facebook because um, it's still up there. If you go to Facebook.com um, forward slash Infinite Wrestling, it's, uh, it, it's, still, it's still there. But, um, but it's, it, the company, they, he promoted a show, beefed it up, nothing ever happened. Show was canceled. Never to hear from again. So, now why do you think he'd try and take over another company after two failed? But it wasn't even not not only that. Not only he tried to do it again. He had another company called Pro Slam World. That was the most recent one. Also still on Facebook. Another big show. Beefed it up. Beefed it up. Beefed it up. Couple weeks before the show, canceled. That's good for business. So, well, it's it's good if you just like making lo- spending money on graphic design and logos and never actually doing anything. Yeah. Now, great for business. W- now, usually when stuff like this happens, it's a money issue. That means somebody that you might have been counting on for money didn't come through, or you had money and you didn't have enough to fund maybe a ridiculous roster that you were trying to put together. Okay, instead of starting off small, you wanted to go go up there swinging uh, for the home run. Now, here is here is the thing that confuses me the most about the situation. Okay, he puts a post up there. Hi, my name is Frank. I am very excited to say that I am the new owner of Pro Wrestling.